Welcome back, this is part 3 from Angular Dart course. Please check out the first uh, videos to follow along with me. Now with that we will start by building our home component so uh, or our home page. So inside the components uh, we will make a home. We will call it just home like this. So as a side note that uh, you can actually just uh, structure your files and folders by a different way but because i'm using this uh, so this app is just a small app so i'm putting put everything uh, i'm putting everything inside the components but actually this home is a, is a, just a page and then you can use inside the components which should connect with the surfaces or something like this but now I'm um, uh, putting everything inside the component. So free, uh, you are free to use anything that you want. Uh, so inside the home component, I will make a home uh, home folder. Inside it, I will make a home component. And here it will be home template that's correct home component that's correct so that's uh, something I don't like it here so just home that makes more sense also no ng uh, in it so that's maybe I need to update my snips because I delete all of them so uh, inside the home I will make a new uh, file here I called it home so template and that's HTML so this is my uh, home and if I want to uh, achieve this or if I want to uh, import this in our uh, my route so I don't need to go uh, to app component and uh, uh, do the same as the directives here actually what I can do is just uh, add it to the my route and then I'm uh, good to go so if I go to to the route paths here we have just one path and what we can do is just say this is gonna be home and this will gonna be uh, just a slash so the, it means that at uh, the path it will be just home w what we can use a home here but we we'll keep it like this and inside the routes here I will make a new route copy and then call this one home that will bring a uh, route path with the home courses template so we don't have courses template now we have another uh, template it's called home so that will go to component uh, and then home and home component I will say as home template and here we need to change this one also to say template and inside here we say just home template home component ng factory and here we say just home so uh, this will bring all that so it should be this one first so this one it will bring the uh, home component so now if we uh, redirect to this it should bring our home component here but because uh, we didn't put anything else also inside home so let's uh, go and put something here so say home component works and let's see there is an error maybe so there is no any error, but we need to uh, refresh the pro and refresh the terminal because it cannot see the the component template and the factory. And now we are in the courses. This one is still redirected to the courses. Why? So this is home. Yes, we need to click to the home because I don't see the URL. That's why. God. so this is home and this is courses which is for now it says uh, this is a problem 
because we didn't update the router uh, navigation bar so we have to update it so go to uh, app header and here we use just a slash courses but actually we don't we don't do that inside the uh, inside the inside because now we it's handled by angular route so we don't need the hr uh, href so what we can do there's two ways actually to do it you can still using the href but the angular router will provide it with the uh, hashtag first and then you say courses like this but this actually uh, is not a good way because we have a uh, we have a angular router so it, it can be handled better with angular router so let's say and save uh, not you reload and then we go to home click on courses nothing so uh, that is not handled by react uh, not react angular router i'm still with react so what we can do actually is uh, take this out and then you provide the router uh, directive so router link wow that's a lot so router link and that will bring our route path so our route path and then we say this is gonna be courses dot uh, to url And that's uh, uh, not gonna work just like this. We need to provide our route paths inside the header component as a directive. So inside the header component here, we still have uh, directives here. What we need to do is bring our uh, route to directives here. So in order to get the routes working uh, inside uh, the header component, we need to provide our routes here, routes path, paths, not route path, paths. So this will uh, should be uh, imported and not in the provider. Sorry, sorry, inside the exports array. So route paths here, and the problem is like uh, we cannot use any. Uh, if you are angular developer you know already that we cannot use any uh, directive or any uh, instance of variables that inside the uh, component uh, by referring to it without uh, using the uh, exports so we exported this one and then we have this working and if you check that if we are now in the home component you click on courses you go to courses you click on home we click in home so let's go uh, to the home component and start designing uh, the home component now we are going to build the home component or home template HTML uh, you can skip this part uh, if you click in the description below you find the uh, minutes and then you click on the next part so what we are going to do we will re remove the first one this here and we'll start with the row and this row will take also row uh, columns and I want two columns and and then say we row uh, columns with a medium screen I want two row with uh, columns small screen I want one so this is just put uh, bootstrap classes so uh, you can uh, check this out i i also uh, go around sometimes and then check uh, which classes that i need so just uh, put always i what i will do i will always put the bootstrap in the right and then uh, my code in the left and then just try to uh, get, bring the all the classes uh, again that's uh, okay that's the first uh, we'll do uh, our column so this is the f the first column that uh, as you uh, if you followed me like uh, in the design we say the first column it will be the text so it will be h1 here and we say this is just the courses so uh, this is the text that we need here 
so this is the courses and we will do a class here and say display one so this will make the courses uh, big so take the full width of the courses here and what we're going to do is also is bring the paragraph here and with a class lead and that will say uh, maybe the only n unique platform and form for online courses so th this is just a uh, like uh, in a small uh, note that uh, you can do anything what you want here so but i'm just uh, put kind of like a boilerplate here for uh, how to uh, design this uh, page and also we have another column here so we will say column and here this column will take the image so we'll say image here where the source is a web uh, directory and then we will have images here and I need a home PNG so this will bring our uh, uh, image as you can see that is really big image so what we can do is add the classes here where we say image uh, float and then we can add also the width and height here so 100% and height is auto and also we add alt here for this is like main uh, home image so uh, this is uh, uh, what will show in the small screen like the courses but still we see that that uh, there is not that much changes here uh, and that's because so uh, if we go to styles and we see that the, there is a max width for 600 pixel and also the margin and then the padding so we need to remove this one and also uh, and also I have to remove this the material uh, icons because we use monster uh, icon monster icons and for the roboto this will be the same we need the font of the roboto and and actually that's uh, that's it for the home page so the home page is like this but as you can see that the header is really a small so we're going to uh, put some classes for the header so one of them is that display flex so this is uh, totally okay but what i want to do is actually is bring the rounded here so whenever uh, the background and also the background dark so whenever this uh, we, so we can see it whenever this um, comes with the background or we're going to put any background in it so it will be rounded uh, another thing that we need to uh, put is uh, padding for the, the courses so it will be more larger and more spacing and also we put a uh, background to uh, not background margin to the bottom and then we use three also so this makes our uh, our navigation is a bit uh, more spacing and also bigger so what uh, we're going to do here we check this one is a 50 so I'm going to use it as 75 here so now it's big and then the courses and the uh, the courses and uh, navigation uh, items so we will use here so if you can check the text more and then we will use uh, multi selection here so we'll say uh, lead this is gives us the the, the same uh, uh, font size as this one here so this will make it more uh, nice here if I click in class courses it will go to courses I click on home and this will bring the home what we are going to do also uh, building the footer component so inside inside our components we're going to make a new folder and we call it footer and that footer will make a new file here and say footer dot uh, footer underscore component dart that's not dart 
and then uh, we make our component by saying dart snipped here and we say footer so the footer actually is just like the header it will not contain that much uh, uh, logic it's just a component in here so it will print this uh, component footer component here and here we will remove uh, maybe we, will, we can use the template here so we don't need this template URL and then we remove this one from here so we can use the template so in Dart if you are going to uh, use multi-line uh, string we use it by three uh, single quote and then we put our text in the middle so here we use also a div with the class row put uh, the date so that will be a string interpolation and when we can uh, use uh, the date here or maybe uh, actually yeah date is better so and here we can use also the classes so classes And then here we use text muted also display for and uh, actually i don't need display for i will use the lead here and uh, yeah that's it i think so uh here we say row calls one and that will be just just one column so that will be our column so the paragraph it will be actually our column so i don't like to use paragraph so i'll use the diff here and inside it we will use the paragraph now we need to put uh, our string date And for example, we will use now for now, let's say 2020, or maybe uh, let's say, yeah, 2020, something like this. So that will bring our date, and then uh, it will be uh, printed here. Uh, we need to import this uh, component uh, inside our uh, app. So we'll go to app component, not CSS, app Dart. And inside the, uh, the directives, we will go use footer component. And then inside the app component HTML, after the app header and the router, we will use it here and say footer. So now after importing the, the HTML tags here for our component, we go and check that if the component is rendered here. And I put uh, also a background for it so I can uh, see it so we can remove the background here and we can see that uh, the copyright I also uh, updated the, the text so instead of using the uh, hard-coded uh, copyright symbol so we use this one inside the HTML I also put the date here and then the code review that I owe that this is just an example so you don't need to take it really seriously from here and uh, yeah uh, and we see that the date is hard coded also so we will uh, use the date uh, date time from dart so we will say date time dot now and then we will use the year here and the year is an integer so we just use integer here and that will uh, it will be uh, converted to a string inside the HTML and that will be the same here. So this is for the our footer. That's it for this part. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.